Richard Dreyfuss, a seasoned actor with a career spanning decades, first caught public attention through memorable roles in well-known films. Whether it was seeing his breakthrough performance in Jaws or connecting with his characters in later classics like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, many have experienced the influence of his talent. Have you ever thought about the first time you noticed him on screen? For some, his work goes beyond the cinema, inspiring and leaving a lasting impression, prompting personal reflections and even life-changing moments. Can you share a personal story of how this Hollywood actor has touched your life? As we explore various aspects of Richard Dreyfuss's career, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this veteran actor. Funny, shocking, or sad, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned, as there are many interesting facts about his journey coming up. Keep watching for a journey through his life and work. Born on October 29, 1947, in Brooklyn, New York, Richard Dreyfuss grew up in a middle-class family. His parents, Norman and Geraldine Dreyfus, provided a stable foundation for his early years. Raised in the neighborhood of Bayside, Dreyfus developed an early interest in acting, participating in school plays and community theater. During his formative years, Dreyfus faced challenges, including dyslexia, a condition that went undiagnosed until later in life. Despite this obstacle, he persevered, finding solace and confidence in the world of performing arts. His high school drama teacher recognized his potential and encouraged him to pursue his passion, setting the stage for what would become an illustrious career. In 1967, at the age of 20, Dreyfus made his Broadway debut in The Boys in Autumn. This marked the beginning of his journey in the entertainment industry. His breakthrough came with the 1973 film American Graffiti, followed by the iconic role of Matt Hooper in Steven Spielberg's Jaws in 1975. Dreyfus's early experiences, both personal and professional, played a crucial role in shaping his career trajectory. The challenges he overcame and the support he received from mentors fueled his determination. His ability to connect with audiences on an emotional level became a hallmark of his performances. The actor's career is not just a chronicle of roles and accolades, it's a testament to resilience and passion. The early struggles and triumphs laid the groundwork for a journey that would impact not only his life, but also the lives of those who experienced his work on screen. Richard Dreyfuss, a seasoned actor with a career spanning decades, is not only a screen performer, but also a source of inspiration and resilience. Overcoming dyslexia in his formative years, he found solace and confidence in the performing arts. His high school drama teacher recognized his potential, laying the foundation for a remarkable career. In 1967, at 20 years old, he made his Broadway debut in The Boys in Autumn, marking the beginning of a journey that would shape the entertainment industry. Dreyfus's breakthrough came with the 1973 film American Graffiti, followed by his role as Matt Hooper in Steven Spielberg's Jaws in 1975. Behind the scenes, Dreyfus's early experiences played a pivotal role in shaping his trajectory. The challenges he faced, coupled with mentor support, fueled his determination. His ability to emotionally connect with audiences became a hallmark of his performances, going beyond the roles he played. In interviews, he shared insightful quotes about his craft. He once remarked, acting allows me to explore human emotions to become someone else for a while. It's a powerful and transformative experience. This perspective highlights the profound impact his chosen profession has had on his life. Co-stars have shared memorable anecdotes about working with him. On the set of Jaws, a co-star mentioned Dreyfus's meticulous preparation for the role of Matt Hooper. He immersed himself in the character, studying marine biology for hours to make the role authentic. It showed with his dedication and professionalism, the co-star recalled, as audiences, we've been touched by Dreyfus's performances, and for some, these moments have transcended the screen. Whether it's the suspense of Jaws or the wonder of close encounters of the third kind, his work has prompted personal reflections and even life-changing moments for viewers. Exploring Richard Dreyfus's journey reveals not just a reel of roles and accolades, but a narrative of resilience and passion. His impact goes beyond the cinema, resonating with those who have experienced the depth of his performances. As we reflect on the actor's life and work, let's celebrate the remarkable journey of a man who turned challenges into triumphs, leaving an unforgettable imprint on the world of entertainment. 
Richard Dreyfuss, recognized for his impactful roles, landed the part of Roy Neary in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a role initially turned down by Al Pacino and Gene Hackman. His talent for bringing characters to life made this role a pivotal moment in his career. Taking a short break from acting during 2004-2005, he shifted his focus to share his knowledge at Oxford University through lecturing. This unexpected break showcased Dreyfus's dedication, not just to acting, but also to the broader field of education. Discussing his personal struggles, he revealed his bipolar disorder diagnosis in the documentary Stephen Fry, The Secret Life of the Manic Depressive. In an honest interview with Stephen Fry, another individual navigating the challenges of the disorder, Dreyfus shed light on his experiences, contributing to a deeper understanding of mental health issues. These different aspects of his career varied roles, detour into academia, and openness about mental health highlight the diverse nature of his journey. The ability to smoothly transition from on-screen charisma to academic mentorship and candid discussions about personal struggles showcases a depth beyond the glamour of Hollywood. He has not only left an impact through his performances, but has also shown resilience in navigating the different landscapes of his career. Audiences are drawn not just to his characters, but to the person behind them, a sign of the lasting influence of Richard Dreyfus. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Richard Dreyfus attended high school alongside notable figures like Angelina Jolie and Nicolas Cage. His roots connect to Jewish immigrants from Poland and Austria-Hungary on his father's side, while his maternal grandparents, part of Russian Jewish families, hailed from New York. Apart from his acting skills, Dreyfus co-wrote the 1995 novel The Two Georges with science fiction writer Harry Turtledove. This novel explores an alternate history where the American Revolution didn't succeed and America remains under British rule. Dreyfus took a break from acting in 2004-2005 to teach at Oxford University, showcasing his commitment to education. This unexpected detour revealed a different side of him, emphasizing his dedication not only to his craft, but also to broader intellectual pursuits. Discussing his bipolar disorder openly in a documentary with Stephen Fry, he shed light on mental health issues, contributing to a broader understanding and highlighting the importance of dialogue on such topics. In Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Dreyfus stepped into a role initially declined by Al Pacino and Gene Hackman, showcasing his ability to bring characters to life uniquely. This role marked a pivotal moment in his career, further solidifying his reputation as an adaptable and resilient actor. From early struggles with dyslexia to an unexpected stint in academia and candid discussions on mental health, his journey is a testament to resilience and adaptability. His influence goes beyond Hollywood, resonating not only with audiences captivated by his performances, but also with those who appreciate the depth of his journey.